So given that YouTube only gives me 10 minutes, I, I'm sorry about just cutting off that last video, but let's go ahead and do a quick part two of charting. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this chart, and I'll represent all of the data in another type of chart just so you can see it. So I've highlighted the data. Again, I can't iterate enough the same number of cells in each column. Insert, and this time I'm going to do a line chart. I'll do a line chart with markers, and I get a nice line chart, except as you can see, the range of data that the chart suddenly selected has a bunch of white space here and really squeeze the data together. So what I want to show you is how to manipulate this by changing the axis. So I'm going to right click on this and format the axis. So if you notice, I'm formatting this axis here. Here's the, th here's the window that comes up. And if you notice, it automatically picked 0 as the minimum and 18 as the maximum. Well, it looks like 0 through probably 8 easily there is no data so I'm gonna change the minimum here to 8.0 then I'm gonna change the maximum looks like my highest is 16 maybe 17 looks like it'll be good so I'll fix that to 17 and as you can see as I do this the information is now spread out so it's a little bit easier to read and understand which year has the highest value so there we go. There's some charting basics. Let's see if we can do one more chart. So I'm going to just cut that. I'll again select some specific data and ranges. Let's just do, actually, let's do New England, Mid-Atlantic, East, East, North, Central for 2005. Compare that. I'm going to hit and hold the control key with 2007 and 2009. So I want a more basic chart, but I still want to see the progression of prices. I'm going to do insert. How about a bar chart this time? Let's do this via a bar chart. 3D bar, or even better, a cylinder bar chart. And there we have the data. We can see that it looks like the price in East North Central has gone up some each year. The price here has gone up some, as well as New England. So there's a nice chart. Now, of course, I'd want to add that chart title. Let's see what the story tells if we switch this. Now, suddenly, they're grouped by East North Central. We can see a little bit better that the price went up. We can also see that in 2009 something happened there must have been a shortage or something of natural gas because that price certainly jumped anyway I hope this helps you with charting the biggest thing I can suggest is go find your own data build your own spreadsheet and create your own charts that's how you learn through repetition and discovery have a great day and we'll talk to you soon